Hello and welcome. This is my 2019 Specialized Rock Hopper. When I first had it, it was the absolute entry-level model. It came with a 3x8 Shimano drivetrain. It had an SR Suntour XCT spring fork. It had house brand molded pedals and a house brand 690 millimeter wide handlebar and a rigid seat post. And in spite of this entry level spec, I just had all kinds of fun with it that first summer. I mean, I was just having a blast riding this hardtail. Now, over the past few years, I have modified pretty much everything on this bike. Uh, the only things that I have not changed are the tire. Well, not true. I put new tires on it, but I have not gone tubeless. And the disc brakes are still mechanical. Well, a few weeks ago, I was out riding and I was going down a descent. Now, I had gotten used to the hydraulic brakes on my polygon. So I'm going down this descent and I'm holding on for dear life. I've got the brake levers squeezed just about as tight as humanly possible. And I'm like, stop, 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 please stop. It did eventually, but man, I had not realized how bad the brakes were in comparison to hydraulics. Well, the obvious answer here is to install hydraulic brakes. So I went out and ordered a JG Bikes bleed kit along with uh, some of the little peripherals like the, uh, the barb inserts and the olives. And I also got a set of Tektro hydraulic brakes. These came pre-bled as many of them do now. The problem with this, of course, is that I wanted to install the rear brakes internally through the down tube. We'll get to that. Now, installing the front brake was just about as easy as could be. It's simply a matter of removing the old mechanical system, you know, the Avid brake levers, along with the cable and the caliper. And putting the hydraulic system on was also pretty easy. It was, functionally, it was the reverse of taking the old mechanical system off because it's all external. Well, things don't always go according to plan. And it was after I installed the front brake that things kind of went haywire on me. Uh, I knew that I would have to cut the old uh, connections off and shorten the cable a little bit because I had to have that olive off the line in order to run it through the down tube and out that port at the bottom. And that is one thing I like about this bike. You don't have to fish your lines out through little tiny holes on either end because it's got that great big port underneath the bottom bracket. So anyway, there I am with the cable shortened about an inch. Not a big deal. I go to put the new olive and uh, insert in, the barb rather, and wouldn't you know it, although they were specifically listed as being for Tektro, guess what? They did not fit. The barb was too small in diameter and just slid all over the place inside the line and the olive was virtually the same inside diameter as the outside diameter of the uh, the hose and so or the line and so it wouldn't slide over i was to say the least disappointed and annoyed there may have been some colorful metaphors used, but only the cats know that and they're not talking. So, <laughs> what I ended up doing for plan B is I loaded the bike up onto the bike rack, 
took it to my local bike shop and uh, they told me that they had to order the Tektro fittings because Tektro is a little bit larger than the SRAM and the Shimano. Well, you know, I could have tried ordering another set of fittings and if that didn't fit, then try another set and factoring in mail times and whatnot plus the annoyance factor, I think I'm better off having taken it to the bike shop. And I'll have it back in a week or so. So where does that leave us? Well, I guess it's kind of a to-be-continued situation here. But yeah, um, sometimes you just gotta roll with it, you know? I wish it had gone as intended. It didn't. I'm not going to lose sleep over it. Yeah, it's annoying, but it's not the end of the world. And I've got another hardtail and my full sus to keep me going. So I guess that's really all I can say at the moment. You know, I wish it had gone better, but it didn't. And uh, I think I'll survive the trauma. So <laughs> if, if you liked this, there's a link below left to a playlist for the rock hopper there's a link below right for another video that i think you'll enjoy please leave me a thumbs up i need the sympathy points <laughs> and seriously as always thank you very much for watching i do appreciate that goodbye and have a great day